Welcome back to yet another episode of Dragon Quest Builders. My name is Silocat, and this is our community chosen game. Okay, we are in season two of Dragon Quest Builders in a new land called Remoldar. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, uh, I do want to apologize to you guys. I've been sick this last week, so I wasn't able to get this recording out a little bit sooner. So here we are now. We're making the recording. We're going to get it to you because I know you guys love this content. Anyway, I'm not going to babble for too long like I normally do. We're going to just dive right in. We've got uh, Ella who's got a quest for us and who knows what else is going to come our way. So let's go. Okay, so when we were last here, um, we built a, a kitchen area, uh, partly because we were getting hungry. Um, I, I still not sure if we actually found any food. We may have found, we have mushrooms that we can eat, but, you know, I don't know if they ever regrow. So, this could be, uh, quite a new challenging area. Um, we're gonna go, we're, we're kind of low on HP, so... And it's kind of late in the day, so we're not going to go too far. Um, but we are going to do a little bit of exploring. Hopefully find something to eat. Just so we can, you know, mark it down. Come on, we need to go up. There we are. Uh, looks like our best bet's probably going to be over here where this green area is. And we'll, we'll probably tackle that tomorrow. Uh, especially if there's a quest to do so. So let's slowly make our way down. We're going to make our way back to the base. We're going to sleep the night. Um, we're going to collect some of these right here. Yep. Oh, well, missed. Alright, we're going to collect and dodge. Okay, come on. Oh, my mallet fell apart. Do I have another? Please tell me I haven't. I don't even have another mallet. Okay, well, I guess I know what I'm doing. How does a mallet fall apart on a... Oh my goodness. Uh, no, come on. I gotta have something. Items. No, equipment. Wow, I really don't. Okay, well. Interesting. Well, we can make one, right? Yeah, we can make one. Okay, so... We now have a new uh, giant mallet. Equip. Okay, so we're good. We're going to talk to Ella first and get this quest. Really? You will help me, Silocat. Rubus be praised for such sending me such a willing disciple. I beg your pardon. You didn't say anything of the sort. Forgive me. I fear I was so caught up in the excitement of my new sick room. I only heard what I hoped to hear. But be that as it may, after the wonderful work you did with that room, I have another request for you. Now that we have a sick room for the ill and the injured to recuperate in, we must bring them here to help them get better. Some time ago I saw a man who had fallen ill with a blight a little way to the west. Alas, I didn't have the medicines I needed to soothe his troubles. That he may be too weak to walk, Silocat, I am sure a strong fellow like you would be able to carry him here. Please, my lamb, use your compass to find this poor soul and lay him to rest in the sick room. Okay, well, we will do that tomorrow because bad guys walk around at night. That and my HP is really low. Thank you for insensitively asking me to go and run quests for you, Ella. Okay, here we go. There is a quest marker. Oh, wow. What's it? Way over that way. Wait. Nope, that's the flag. I'm dumb. The quest marker is that way. Okay, so, well, you know what? Hey, it's kind of good that I did this. You know what? Uh, I wonder what's on top of this. <laughs> Probably nothing. Yeah, it's a big nothing. 
But hey, we have a pile of dirt if we need it. Yay. Dirt. Lots and lots of dirt. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Ow. <laughs> and down we go. I'm going to build around. Because this is going to be a pain to navigate. I'm sure. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Out of there. That stuff's dangerous, don't you know? Okay, and... Let's see... You know what? This looks like the path of least resistance. Not really a bridge, but, you know, hey, whatever. Clay. I don't think we ever found any use for clay. Especially not in Cantlin, so we're just going to use it. There we are. Hey, I still fell in. Okay. Pink flowers we do not need. Blobbies we can kill. Haha. -ha. We're going to switch to the mallet, because I think it gets better swiping powers. I don't think it does as much damage, though. Uh, come on. Jump. Thank you. Uh, hello, snail. I don't like you guys, because you, like, cast poison on me. <laughs> Go away. Go away, all you peoples. Oh, I'm getting... Aw, oh, poisoned. Not this. Not this again. Nope. I'm noping out. Heal. Oh, I used the wrong one. Okay, hey, look. <laughs> I found it. What's up, dude? Um, I gotta clear off all these guys. There's no way I can talk to you while we were dealing with this. Okay. And you too. Hey, mushrooms. We'll need those to feed. Ow. Come on. Quit being horrible. Okay. Feed. Food. Okay. Perhaps I should look over on this continent area. So, oh wait, you know what? That kind of wraps around, so. It's probably not that big of a deal anyway. Uh, bonfire. I'm taking your bonfire. Okay. Who are you? You're not from around here. Okay, stand up so I can see what you look like. My name's Nosh. Okay, what does a Nosh sound like? <clears throat> My name's Nosh. There's nothing you can do for me. Just leave me here alone to die in peace. Wait, that's not what he says, but it's pretty much close enough. What? You have a, a place to rest. Not far from here. I don't have the strength to walk, I'm sorry. But could you carry me? Well, yes, because I am everybody's favorite beast of burden. Okay, here we go. I like it how he's here. Let me just toss you over one shoulder. This guy must be really sick if he weighs enough to carry like a bag of rice. To do down. Walk, run, dodge, poisonous peat. And this way. Okay. <clears throat> I would guess that we need to put him in the sick room if he's like half passed out here. Yeah, okay. Oh, and we have to administer herbs to him. How wonderful. Oh, no! Administer to him! Stand on the fire while you're at it, too. Okay, Nosh is fully cured. Okay, talk. Ribis be praised, Silocat. You brought me a patient. From his pained expression, it looks like he's lost every ounce of his strength. It seems he suffers from the same sickness that affects so many here. Some slowly waste away until they grow so weak they perish. 
Others cough ever more severely until they cannot even breathe and succumb that way. In others, the disease eats at them from the inside until their very bodies rot and fall apart. This vile contagion presents itself in so many different ways. But we need not find a cure for every form of the illness just yet. For now, Silocat, all I ask is that you help me save this one poor soul. Oh, yay! We did this all for strong stocks. You worked really hard to gather those, didn't you, Ella? Okay. Silocat, my lamb. There is a reason for the blight. Hmm. There is a reason the blight runs rampant through Remoldar. It is due to the Hades Condor, who rules the roost over the entire island. If we ever wish to see the skies cleared, or the poison purified, this demon bird must be slain. It's said that the root cause of the blight that grips Mirumoldar is the fell rain that the condor summons forth. So by bringing that to an end... What's that, you say? Shouldn't we help the patient before we start dealing with the root cause? How right you are! Good goddess, forgive me, for I am a wretched sinner. I have let my anger towards the monsters get the better of me. Silicat, we must see to our new patient immediately. Judging from his symptoms, it seems the illness is still in its early stages. If we can just restore his vitality, we should be able to recover or he should be able to recover his own strength. A pouch or two of medicinal herbs should be enough to get him back on the road to recovery. I shall watch over our poor patient and make sure his condition doesn't de deteriorate. Would you be so kind as to prepare and administer the medicinal herb? Oh, Silocat, you have given our patient the medicinal... Or given him the medicine he so desperately needed. Goddess be praised, of course, because he said he needed it. His symptoms should start to subside soon. All he needs now is a good night's sleep and he'll be back to full strength. However, my lamb, I fear that our battle with the blight has only just begun. I don't know what horrors we see before it is, in, it is ended. Our first patient's symptoms were particularly mild. I can only pray that the others would be so easy to cure. Ah, but forgive me. I'm getting ahead of myself. I should instead be praying that our patient makes a speedy recovery. Remember, Silo Cat, that when you treat a patient, they will still need time to recover their strength. I imagine most patients will recover with a good night's sleep. There's no harm in getting some sleep yourself while you wait for them to get better. Okay, so advanced day to advance or to get patient. Or talk right now. Silo cat, my lamb. I am so lucky that the goddess sent you to me. And luckier still that you built me the sick room I have always dreamt of. I want to make the most of this opportunity and I offer the best possible treatment to all the poor souls that need my aid. If we're to defeat this accursed disease, we shall require the finest medicines available to mankind. Unfortunately, I don't know the first thing about making medicine. But hope is not all lost, my lamb. For upon a plateau to the south lives Garantius, the famous herbalist. Would you be so kind as to go fetch him for me? He's a very learned man, and he knows how to make all kinds of tinctures, salves, and ointments. With his skills as an herbalist, and your powers as a builder, I'm sure we could create a curative to cure the blight itself. I'm sorry, why don't I go fetch him myself? He's a fearsome, stubborn man, Silo Cat. If anyone can convince him to join us, it's you. Besides, were I to try to talk to him, things could get very... Uh, complicated. I don't really know how it might turn out. So please, Solid Cat, follow your compass to find Garantius and convince him to come back with you. Okay, well... Uh, let's see... Quest markers that way. Okay, tower. So, I don't remember if we climbed that tower last time or not, but I'm gonna... I remember dying over here, stupid griffins.
Okay. Uh. Smash. Okay. Oh, I should have cleared out my inventory. Aha! You can't reach me up here, but you can. Dang it! And I only thought I was uh, so smart. Hey! Go away! Hey! There's a chest on here. Even better. <laughs> hey! Wait! Nope! 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 Okay, egg and a chest. And it's becoming nighttime. My favorite time. Let's. Oh, can I do this? Can I do this? Haha. Uh Haha. -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Wait. There we are. Mushrooms. We will need those. Oh, oh, I was going to say, did it fall all the way down? Okay, no, we're good. Okay, what the point is... What's the point of this vine? It's going to do like that. Okay, build. When all else fails, build. You know what? I found that treasure chests don't do much good, so... Ah! That's really not what I wanted to do. You know what? Ow! Whoa! Sniped. Uh, okay. Wow. Good shot. Haha. <laughs> okay. Is there anything up on top of this? Am I... Oh, it keeps on going. I can't see the top of it yet. Okay. Oh, we need... We need to build. Okay. Hey, look, there's a big nothing, except for some medicinal leaf stuff. Hmm. Okay, so climbing up this way. <laughs> Much more lush area. Ow! With arrow shooting jerks. Aha, you missed. Ow, you didn't. Oh, let me get me out of here. Okay, and Ooh, that was a close one. Let's let's you know what? You know what? Dilly dallying is such a overrated concept. We're just gonna kind of go. Butter beans. Hey, butter beans are good. Butter beans are food. We do need food. And cotton. And white petaled flowers. Ooh, I need to remember this area. Okay, and hey, orange slime. I think we killed some orange slime while we were here already. Hmm, who are you? I've never seen your face before. Will I mourn for you too, just as I mourn for these lost souls? 
for all my knowledge of the healing arts, I was still powerless to save them. Yes, I am Garantius, but who in the world are you? What? You're the Builder? And Alice sent you to find me? Huh. If that's the case, then you are wasting your time, young man. I no longer have the will to help her. There is still one more soul I must put to rest. And I haven't even the simplest wooden memorial to honor his memory. Please just leave me alone. Ah, grouchy old man. Okay, so I know how to make a wooden memorial, which I am guessing. Look, here's... <laughs> look, let me knock down this tree. And take a couple sticks. And I can't build it here. Well, this is lame. Okay, well, see you, old man. I'll be back. Okay, we should be able to find the wooden memorial, build it, and bring it back to the old man. Uh, you know what? While we're at it, because we're getting hit quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and make some more clothes because nobody wants to see us naked. Uh, okay, wait a second. Did I miss it? Okay, there we are. Good, 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 good. We're good now. Uh, and while we're at it, because we know how horrible I am at this, let's go ahead. We're going to make some uh, more of these uh, easy items. All right, check us out. Let's make a deposit on our box. Okay, and uh, you know, I do believe that that's enough. So let's go ahead. We're going to get out. Let's go back to Grontius. Ah, oh, men must die, even those who overcome the blight by themselves. Not. Oh. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what? I just messed that up completely. Look, old man. We're going to... Bam. Now. I fixed it. Come along. So, huh. so you created a memorial from scratch, did you? It seems you really are the legendary builder. What exactly has that girl made you agree to? She's put ideas in your head about working together to eradicate the blight, hasn't she? Listen to me, young man. You can't fight death. It's the natural order of things, and you're just going to have to accept it. Man is the only creature impertinent enough to try to escape death itself. Doesn't that strike you as foolish? Absurd, even? Huh. That's what makes us human, is it? You're a lot cleverer than you look. I'll say that much. Very well. Let's return to this. To your settlement. I want to see just how much you and Ella have thought this through. Okay, well. Grouchy old man. Hmm... Hmm, oh, you know what? We're gonna explore some, and then we're gonna use that feather or that wing to get us home. Um, yep, definitely. Hey! Hey, the old man doesn't like that. I think I just hit the old man. He's beating him with a stick. Yes! Old man with a cane. Um, okay, let's... Ow. And we're here. Bats. 
grass seed. I want to see what's in the cave. What's more of these yellow flowers? Something tells me these yellow flowers are going to be very useful. Cure poison, maybe? That would be awesome. Um, let's see, where are we? Okay, we're gonna have to leave before we can go anywhere. Alright. Let's grab some extra items while we're at it. Come on, hit the tree. And the mushroom. And the bat. <laughs> this old man does a better job than I do. Okay, let's go. All right, we have new friends. By the great shepherdess in the sky, you've guided Garantius back to us. He has his doubts about waging war on the Blight. I am sure he must have grumbled something about the futility of trying to resist death. Did he subject you to one of his long-winded philosophical lectures too? He's like that, I'm afraid. Please don't let it get to you like that. Please don't let it get to you. Garantius is an herbalist, with a rare knowledge of the causes and cures of illness. However, without the power to create, he could never make full use of that wisdom. But you're the builder, with your powers of creation, the marvelous medicines he could only ever dream of before can finally be given form. Silacat, my lamb, our preparations are complete. We Now we must work together to defeat this ghastly disease. Yay! Okay, um... I'm gonna come over here, we're gonna do some extra crafting. Craft away. Not making a lot, but okay. And... Is there anything else we can make that we may want later? I want this. Nowhere near that. Uh. Uh, no. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Smack you in the face. Ha uh -huh. I'll smack you twice. Ow. I smack you. Okay. Not playing around. Oh, I'm full of items. Okay. We need to get rid of some things. Put away, put away. Uh, we're going to keep this out. All. Okay, and that should be about all that we can do. And... Uh, you know what? Uh, let's go ahead and call it an episode. Alright, that was it. That was our second episode of Dragon Quest Builders. We have done Ella's quest, we got a new guy, Garantius, and we have another guy who's sitting on our base that we, uh, named Nosh that we rescued from the waste swampy areas. So, yes, we'll definitely have to see where that goes. 
Anyway guys, if you enjoyed the episode today, I would encourage you to go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't done so yet, SMASH THAT SUBSCRIBE BUTTON WITH YOUR HAMMERS! Okay, um, sorry about that. Uh, if you're interested in staying connected to the SiloCat gaming community, we've got several ways. We have a Twitter account, the SiloCat, or Twitter.com slash SiloCatGaming. We also have a Twitch account. It's twitch.tv slash silocatgaming. We also have a Facebook account. It's facebook.com slash silocatgaming. You see a trend here? Anyway, I'm so, so sorry about this. Guys, it's been, it been a great episode. Thank you all for coming out and enjoying it along with me. I can't wait till next time. I'll see you later. I love you all. Thank you very much.